this is a Stafford facilities and when you're out in the woods actually just having a place where you can clean up a little bit is a good thing. I'll be back here in a couple of days, but uh, a little electricity, a little, little toilet there, shower area. No hot water though. You're gonna be taking a cold one here, which I'm not gonna do. I don't like cold water. That's what I call luxury when you're camping. Today's Monday, day two on the island. What I'm noticing, most people on the island camp down at Sea Camp. It's the biggest campsite. It's got fresh water, bathrooms, showers. Most of the people who are spending the night are down there. Once you get north of Stafford, there's not that many people. And what I'm seeing is you see a lot more wildlife. I just saw three turkeys. That was, that was pretty awesome. Big ones. And today we're heading over to Plum Orchard. And I think it's only about four or five miles. And then after Plum Orchard, I'll find a campsite at Brick Hill, which is on the northwestern side of the island, right on the river. Guys, got to visit the, the cemeteries, see who used to be here. I've never visited this cemetery, but I want to see if there's a grave here that I read about. Here's the, here's the cemetery. Not a big one. Not a lot of people have lived here. The big round one there is Robert Stafford, who I think had a house out here. Makes sense he was buried here, but this is the one I wanted to see, to see if it was here. This guy, Thomas Hutchison, was a golf professional. He was born in Scotland. He died when he was 23 here on the island. And as I understand it, he came to the U.S. to play in a golf tournament and got sick on Cumberland Island. And this is his final resting place at 23. Ugh. Not all of Cumberland Island is dense forests and stuff. If you look off to my right, there's a big field. And there used to be an airfield out here, and this might be where it was. As I recall back in the day, the first time I came here was 1982 or 83 as a college student. And there was a nice big open airfield. Uh, obviously, it's overgrown now. I don't know if they still use it. And I did see a plane up ahead somewhere. And I think this is it. So it's not all forest. But most of it is. Coming up on that plane I saw. I don't know if it's... I guess it looks like it's in use. And a couple of... Four... Wild horses. Just hanging out. And looks like a house up here. There are a handful of people that have houses here, but pretty few and far between. Look at these live oaks, man. They're like their own ecosystem. They got stuff growing all over them. They're huge. I don't know what kind of plants are growing on them, like ferns, Spanish moss. I mean, they're massive. They got all kinds of animals living in there. They grow all the way to the ground. I hear some kind of animal out there. It's probably a turkey. This is one of the few bridges on the island. I've walked up here before back like in 82 or 83, but I don't remember any bridge here. It looks pretty new. Maybe the gators live in here. I'm going to be quiet and see if I can see one. Well, I don't think I snuck up on any alligators because this Lands and Legend Tour Company came up right as I was crossing the bridge. But for some people, you know, if you don't really want to walk the 10 miles to the north end, 
but you do want to see Plum Orchard and all these places, you can contact them, and, and they have tours in, in pickup trucks and in vans taking you all over the place and explaining the history of it. So uh, check them out if you're not really into walking. I've walked up on a couple of turkeys. Oh, a whole bunch of them. Those are the hens. The, the male was on the other side of the road. He's got that big thing hanging from his neck. That is so cool. <laughs> Okay, coming up on Plum Orchard. Look, at it's, it's the end of February and all these azaleas are blooming. It was kind of deteriorated and I think the family gave it over to the government. And of course the government has the money to fix it up and I believe it's totally restored. There are some tours. Uh, they're like 11, 1, and 2. I'm going to check it, but I'm going to stay here and go through the tour because I would like to see the inside of it. This was a house given to uh, Lucy Carnegie's daughter, I believe. And when you have a lot of money, I guess that's what you do. You own a big island and give your kids houses. But there's an indoor pool. I mean, it's, it's uh, for a house built, I think, in the late 1800s, or early 1900s. It's really got a lot of nice amenities and we'll take a tour of it okay tour starts in about two minutes got here just in time you can see there's work going on that roof look, looks like it needs to be done but this will be pretty interesting The workers' kitchen. They 
they do a great tour of the house. It takes about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Uh, they're still doing work on it, maintaining it, but it's in great condition. And it's interesting to see how, when you have all the money in the world, what you could buy uh, around 1900, 1920. Another one of these bridges, these are tidal waters, tidal pools. You can see down here where some oysters are growing. And it's low tide right now, as you can tell. Okay, it's a little after three. I think we're done hiking for the day. Set up my tent right here on the river. gonna call it a night we got to see plum plum orchard today got a good tour of it tomorrow I'm gonna to go north and go up to the uh, African Baptist Church I think that's the name of it and that's a church that some um, uh, after the Civil War some former slaves pulled their money and bought some land up there so there was a little community and there's still a church there I think it's been refurbished but tonight I'm just gonna sleep here by the ocean Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't the ocean, this is the river. Sleep right here by the river. It's low tide, tide will be coming in. I've already seen a few dolphin, so it's gonna be a good night. In the turquoise skies of New Mexico, my ship I spied a dusty town below The people of the town had gathered round the stair As my ship touched down in the central square I walked into a bar with an old guitar Ordered the tequila and a big cigar In a mystical moment, groove took over the room Just then the preacher's wife walked in and said Turn up the volume The cowgirls meet on Wadi Lupe Street. 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 The cowgirls meet on Wadi Lupe Street.